Hey everybody, how you doing? Last Outrider back again. This time we're going to be talking about what makes Grey Knights special. I mean, we all know they're special, and there's been a lot of theories running out there. Is it do they have the Emperor's Gene Seed? Do they have their own Primark? Do they have? Well, you can imagine. Um, they don't have the Emperor's Gene Seed. They don't have their own Primark. <clears throat> Apparently, what makes Grey Knight special is something in their humanity. I know that's a little anticlimactic for a lot of people, but apparently when you're one in a million, there is something very special about you as a person. The Grey Knight's ability doesn't come from their training and it doesn't come from the gene seed and it doesn't come from in their armor or their gear it comes from who they are naturally that's why a gray knight doesn't have a scout company no nav or uh, once you go through the selection process you are a full battle brother even before gene seed implantation so that answers that question so how does this actually mess up demons then? What is their what is this special trait that a gray knight has that uh, the warp spawn simply can't handle? And that's what I'm going to answer for you now in Grey Knights Demon Hunters. The Grey Knights are anathema to demons. Their very presence, raw and painful to the creatures of the warp. No other warriors of the Emperor are so adept at fighting demons, and each battle brother is expertly trained in the many methods of banishing and destroying these d deadly yet ephemeral foes. There are many ways to banish a demon, almost as many as there are demons themselves. So think about that. Okay, there's uh, an infinite, almost uncountable number of demons out there, and there are, therefore, an infinite, almost uncountable number of ways to kick their ass out of the physical universe. So go crazy on your fluff on that one. <laughs> so, it is that the Grey Knights possess a myriad of ways for vanquishing the denizens of the warp. Though not every method works on every demon, or even twice on the same demon, it might not work. <laughs> um, the, the chapter is therefore always adapting to combat the ever-changing face of their foe. It is a constant war of escalation that has been waged since the inception of the chapter and before when the Emperor first began unraveling the secrets of the warp. For every weapon and tactic the Grey Knights develop and deploy, the demons counter with warp sorcery and trickery. And this is what I mean when I told you in my other videos. The real enemy of the Grey Knights is not some cult. It's not some humans running around knowing things, investigating the Grey Knights. That is no threat to them at all. Humans are just pawns, meat puppets. The real enemy, the real actual direct enemy of the Grey Knights are the Chaos Gods themselves. Not greater demons, not demon princes. It's the, the big guys. They, they're eyeballing them directly. That's why they're so insanely paranoid. Okay? Could you imagine if you, you personally, were known by one of those powers and said, I'm going to fuck you up? You'd be paranoid too. <clears throat> Chief amongst the Grey Knight's strategies concerning the vanquishing of a demon is obtaining knowledge of the beast's true name. Knowledge of a demon's true name grants great power, which is why many demons adapt by misleading 
uh, adapt misleading. Oh, I see what they're saying. This is why many de demons adapt misleading pseudonyms or titles and seldom use their true names, save in the most secretive of dealings. In the hands of a psyker or a sorcerer, a true name can be invoked to bind or even banish a demon, regardless of its power level. Okay? Doesn't matter how powerful it is. If you know its true name. You can just say, get out of here. So, where are we at? Ordinarily, these complex incantations take long hours or even days. Each word must be carefully enunciated and each gesture precise, lest the sorcerer become corrupted by the magics of the warp. Invoking a true name is a demonic pact of sorts, albeit one in which the demon is at the severe disadvantage. For a Grey Knight, however, a true name is a weapon as reliable and immediate as the storm bolter born on his left gauntlet. Even the lowliest Grey Knight can invoke a true name with practice, disorienting and weakening his foe, leaving the beast open for a killing strike from a nemesis force blade or a well-placed bolt round. In the hands of an accomplished veteran of the chapter, a true name becomes even more deadly, able to destroy the demon's physical form and cast it back into the warp, leaving only a lingering sulfurous stench and ectoplasmic residue. To banish a demon in this manner is the closest that the Grey Knights can come to a lasting victory. A demon bodily slain will return to the mortal realm far sooner than one banished body and soul. Alas, if true names are a Grey Knight's surest weapon against the demon, they are also the hardest of all to acquire. As with all things demonic, a true name is born of the warp, and its reflection in the minds and tongues of mortal men is as shifting and mutable as the beast to whom it relates. So it is that in the candlelit chambers of the Grey Knight's Augurium, a veritable army of ebon-cowled scribes toil in shadow, endlessly shifting through the visions reported by the chapter's prognosticars, searching for clues to the ever-changing true names. It is a long and dangerous process, for no scribe can ever be trusted with more than a syllable of a demon's true name during his or hers research. Wham! There you have it. That is the main special anti-demon ability that Grey Knights have. So you can imagine that they're in hand-to-hand -hand combat with some demon or other, and then they're just like, you know, ah, blah, blah, I throw out a little bit of your true name at them, and they go, ow, and then that flinching effect, that sudden little, little, you know, moment of weakness, boom, bolter to the face, or nemesis weapon to the body part of your choice. That is how you can imagine Grey Knight combat happening now. I hope you enjoyed that, and until next time, bye.